Uh, hello, um, thank you for uh, the opportunity to be here. Um, I would like to talk about uh, um, the subject of queer families um, and images of queer parenting, which have been so often in the arts, so things that we are moving uh, forward in time. And um, I'd just like to uh, start with uh, some brief comments on the um, issue of family, uh, which obviously is one of the controversies and, um, as a concept and institution that has traditionally served um, to uh, maintain the efficiency existing order in the society. And um, uh, I think like this normative function is particularly evident in the phrase traditional family, which is so popular with uh, the supporters of conservative values. And yet, the so-called traditional family has, in fact, never existed. Always was and still remains um, ideologically and politically abusive construct. The tool of patriarchal and heteronormative dominance and control. Um, I'd like to uh, start by actually showing um, various artistic depictions of uh, queer families in contemporary uh, arts. And I, I hope that in this paper, I'll be um, able to, to show how uh, precisely because of the, the link between the, um, um, between the, um, um, the, the family institution as um, um, its uh, heteronormative uh, regulatory function, uh, the portrayal of these, these um, other families has a um, potential to uh, become an instrument of emancipation and uh, to shift away from the family as institution to the broader concept of queer families um, parenting. So this uh, first image is uh, a view of um, the um, installation by a Slovak artist, Maria Torella, whose work uh, entitled The Viewpoint was installed in uh, the Nava Synagogue. Uh, Torella used the painting of the Virgin and Child um, with San and by Leonardo da Vinci. She divided an, uh, the enlarged image into gradual diminishing frames receiving the space. And uh, viewers were therefore forced to search for a standpoint from which they could see uh, the image as a coherent whole. Um, the point of view was also evolved on the conceptual level. The title seemed to suggest that the meaning of what we see depends on our physical as well as conceptual experience-based standpoint. Um, if we know the original painting and its iconography, the Christian interpretation of it prevails. Yes, if you look at the picture from a profane perspective, we see two women and a child in tender physical contact. This, um, these sacralized readings is also supported by the religious innovative treatment um, of the subject matter, whether by, and he means it saying, and, as, um, uh, and her daughter as women of approximately the same age. Another hint that appears signification of the scene might stem from uh, the interpretation offered by the famous um, essay Leonardo da Vinci in the world of his childhood by Sigmund Freud. But Freud uses a psychoanalytical interpretation of the painting in question um, in support of da Vinci's um, alleged homosexuality. Still, all these aspects combined do not necessarily imply a um, lesbian interpretation. On the contrary, for the majority of heterosexual viewers, the potential lesbian connotations um, of the scene would be most likely lost. Um, their point of view not matching that of queer viewer or um, the lesbian gaze of the artist herself. Yes, I would argue that the queer reading is already suggested by both the title and the construction construction of uh, breaking the picture plane and reversing the perspective of human model. By deconstructing the uh, image and simultaneously orchestrating spectator's viewpoint with uh, her spatial installation, Choreva emphasizes artificiality of the apparently natural scene and its dependence on perspective construction. 
by extension, extension we might uh, conclude that by doing so, she, um, the artist, implied the possibility of denaturalizing the of parenting and thus suggested clearing of the heteronormative interpretation. Mm. So the second example is uh, more straightforward and openly accessed. And uh, it's a photographic series by Anna Shepanda called The Immaculate Conception. The project was uh, designed for Art Hall Gallery, uh, that is um, a public art exhibition space situated in the downtown Prague. And Shepanda chose to photograph lesbian mothers and their children in order to empower uh, the group uh, by increasing their visibility in the public space. The artist built on her previous work, a photograph series uh, entitled Family Map, uh, True We Shall Stay, which was made in collaboration uh, with uh, Gabriel Conta. Both photographic series emphasize alternatives to the so-called nuclear family, while the immaculate conception sought to further amplify problems that lesbian parents faced back then and um, still continue to struggle with today. Um, so for those of you who are not familiar with uh, the local uh, legal situation, I'd like to just uh, sketch, sketch out the, the legal framework, the sex, uh, same-sex parenting uh, in the Czech Republic. Um, so the, the um, registered partnership act of uh, 2006 um, did not originally allow adoption by a uh, gay and lesbian partners who joined in the uh, civil union. And uh, in uh, June 2016, uh, the Constitutional Court found this aspect discriminatory and the law had to be revised. At present, however, the situation is still far from ideal. Um, only one of the couple can adopt a child, and still it's, it's not as it's not simply that easy. Um, also, the other partner is, uh, remains a stranger to the child in terms of the law. Um, so, um, if a, a single woman um, or a lesbian uh, mother um, is, or is trying to um, use uh, assisted reproductive technology in the Czech Republic, uh, they have to pretend to have a um, heterosexual partner, um, otherwise they'll be prevented from um, seeking um, the assisted reproductive technology and have to do so abroad. Um, so, still in the time when these photographs were produced, um, the law um, banned ado adoption for an individual living in a um, registered partnership. However, obviously, it did not take into consideration that some of the same sex parents already have children or would bring them into the world. Um, either naturally or with the aid of assisted reproductive technology. Yes, they would obviously be uh, still without any legal um, ties with, uh, with their non biological children. Um, so the texts uh, below the photos do not directly address this painful issue, however. Uh, they range from uh, visions of non-nuclear extended queer families, like in the case of this um, image, where um, the quotation says, Honzi knows his father, they sometimes see each other. Uh, mothers, however, he's got four. Uh, he draws all of us as a, as a family. Um, or this is another um, from, from the, the series version of the seven images displayed. Um, which says, uh, we tested them by courses. We examined their health, the quality of teeth and hair, and picked the best stuff. Um, and the third image um, comments on the issues which are specific to the in vitro fertilization. I have nine frozen eggs. I still don't know what I'll do with them. So by choosing codes that invited the public uh, to partake in the lives of queer families, Stefanova wanted to publicly sound voices of a group that is still marginalized by the society and discriminated against by the Czech legal system. Her intention was to show that some worries and joys are shared by mainstream and lesbian families alike. 
She also wanted the statements to be as candid as possible, with no insight as to what might sound offensive, um, as for instance, the quote with the best stuff, or provocative, um, the quote regarding frozen eggs. Um, the role of the text is obviously essential here. The Bangladesh photos show um, women, uh, they um, suggest that they're mothers, some men pregnant, some men with children. Um, but it is only by means of the quotes that we learn that the women in the pictures are lesbian. Um, the words become inscribed in bodies and subsequently change our perception of the depicted subjects. Um, Shivana's project is as much about the individual stories um, of the lesbian mothers as it is about the power of the word, the patriarchal and homophobic law that is made flesh, um, making certain subjects desirable and fit for maternity while excluding others. Shivana's mothers do not complicate the concept of the family unit simply by forming same-sex couples though, but also by extending the notion of the family to a more um, than two parents without pathologizing this arrangement. Um, already today, more than half of children in Czech Republic grow in the constellations that are very different from the conservative nuclear family ideal. Some in complete families, some in families that are patched together with more adults alternating the parental roles, and some in sort of families with multiple parents. Um, as the case of Honzi with, with four moms proves, from the point of view of the child's well-being, what matters, of course, is not the number of moms or dads, but the loving, loving, mutually respectful and safe environment. Shibana's test you children and maternal subjects who might and might not be genetically related to them uh, are obviously just a modest vanguard to a brave new queer feminist world where procreation will cease to depend on genetic families as we know them. Um, it will see the future where families can expand to include more parents legally, genetically, and epigenetically. Um, okay, um, so this, this will be like a, a science fiction, like future um, of queer parenting, evoked by Tamara Moises, so an artist living in the Czech Republic. Uh, and uh, this is a, a frame still from the trailer for the 12th edition of the Beer Film Festival in from 2011. Um, it is a fictitious commercial for a uh, good dad nursing bra. Um, and um, it promotes uh, as if a bra with built in baby bottles. Um, I just wanted to ask, is it possible to play uh, the, the video? Is it short? I, I'm just asking because of the time. Táta vám poskytne příjemné kojení bez bolestivých operací a drahých hormonů. Kojení je radost, doporučuje 9 z 10 otců. Každé dítě chce dobrého tátu. Volejte 737 39 06 Play or um, translate the voiceover, uh, which um, uh, proclaims that a good dad will enable you to breastfeed comfortably without painful operations and expensive hormones. Uh, it also says that breastfeeding is a joy, uh, recommended by nine out of ten fathers. Uh, continues, so the voiceover continues with the slogan that every child wants a good dad. <coughs> Um, so by assuming this uh, form of a mock advertising, the trailer mirrors the way parenting gets exploited as a commodity uh, by the contemporary capitalist 
um, consumer system. Um, and obviously, try to challenge uh, the, the vendors of the, the traditional family um, by its over-the-top fear futuristic stylization. It even anticipates the horror of some who might uh, be repelled by the idea of a couple raising a baby by the shadow of a hand appearing over the baby accompanied by this uh, cheesy, suspenseful music uh, in the beginning, uh, which then later on turns into an upbeat one as one of the dads starts walking the baby. Um, so compared to the civil images by Nashi Panova, the festival trailer stresses fear appearance of the protagonists uh, where standard costumes are in both space aesthetics as well as a potentially erotic cosplay. Um, with uh, the graphs really denoting processing. By suggesting that both dads are able to nurse a baby, the concept further disturbs gender norms and evokes um, society where the traditional norms in parenting are subverted. Yet in spite of all its radical subversion of gender roles, uh, the video sport reproduces an ideally portrayal of a couple isolated in a private setting that parallels the nuclear family model promoted by the traditionalists. Whereas uh, Shivanova's uh, Immaculate Conception series suggests more polyvalent queer family arrangements. Uh, video um, by Tamara Moises shows a reverse version of uh, the nuclear family with um, queer protagonists. So finally, um, unlike the excessive and the campy approach of the previous example, the uh, cross-stage slogan uh, says, my mom told me there's no vote on the human rights um, by the Slovak activist embroidery name entitled Kunde Kuru, which are translated as Kunt Kuru. Um, this this uh, message is simple and straightforward. Um, the statement is a response to the 2015 uh, referendum um, promoted by the Initiative Alliance for Family, in which the Slovak public uh, could express their opinion on heteronormative definition of uh, marriage, adoption by same-sex couples, and sex education in schools. The referendum was uh, declared null and void uh, due to the low participation Yet, uh, the sheer fact that people were asked to vote on the uh, rights of um, LGBTQ persons created an upheaval and protests um, on the part of the community and uh, its uh, supporters. Just as in their um, other stitched slogans, Kundikuri uh, used the tension between embroidery, uh, of the traditional domestic femininity, and the political urgency of the statement. From the laconic sentence, we won't learn much about the form of the queer family suggested by it, but we get the sense of firmly held values that are passed on from the mothers to their children. Compared with the cryptic suggestions of queer, uh, queer reading hinted at uh, the installation uh, by Maria Troeva, the bold endorsement of um, LGBTQ rights by the group shows how differently the younger generation deals with the issue of same-sex parenting 10 years later. The examples discussed in this paper uh, differ in their form and mode of expression, yet together they form a wider picture that might show um, the potential of fear parenting in the process of reframing the family. Um, by, for example, querying the view of a, a traditional family, uh, as um, seen in uh, the installation of Maria Toreva, or expanding the group of people who are involved in it, um, bending the gender roles within it, and finally by keeping uh, on guard for breaching um, human rights related to um, uh, human reproduction and child, child care. Um, in her book, uh, and this is the conclusion, uh, in her book, uh, Full Story of Sinao, Feminism Against Family, Sophie and Lewis states that the family is promoted by uh, today's neoliberal society is intrinsically oppressive and beyond redemption. 
In her radical vision of communal competition, she sees the need of completely dismantling the family. And I quote here, let's bring uh, about the conditions of possibility for open source, fully collaborative gestation. Let's hold one another hospitably, explore notions of hereditary parentage, and multiply real loving solidarities. Let us build a care commune based on comradeship, words sustained by kith and kind more than by kin. Let us overthrow, in short, the family. I would um, argue that instead of um, totally overthrowing the family, we could concentrate on forging family arrangements that would be less proprietorian and more inclusive. Um, one thing this paper does suggest then, is uh, that the society could uh, learn uh, from queer families while expanding our ways of doing parenting.